and we're starting right now, alright? So, everyone's coming in, so everyone who's coming in, please grab a seat. Yes.
because uh, celebrating 21 years of birthday mean it means of celebration and thankfulness. And Kevin, thank you for inviting us and celebrating with you your 21 years of life. And to all the friends, relatives, uh, acquaintanceship, acquaintances of Kevin, it's nice to please to meet you today. I see new faces, faces I don't know, and I believe Kevin invited you here because he doesn't want you only to enjoy the food and fun, because I believe Kevin wants you also to enjoy the best gift that a human being can have, and that is the love of God and the love of Jesus. Because birthday celebration should not be only for family, friends, food, and fun, but most of all, the one who has given us life, the one our life has come from, and that is God. You know, in celebration, many celebration, only laughing, eating, dancing. But there are many parties and celebration, they fail to recognize the best, wonderful guest, and that is the presence of God. So tonight, get in. Because you honor God into your life and by inviting your friends, families, relatives, and brethren. I believe Kevin won also in celebrating his 21 years. We will not only remember him. We will not only remember Kevin in a sporty attire in his 21 years. But all his friends who are with him tonight. We will not only remember Kevin, but we will also remember that there is God. Amen. So to all, all of us who are in this tonight, I want to share his word in Psalm 90, verse 12. It says, Teach me, O Lord, to number my days aright. When we celebrate birthday, we are asking God to teach us to number our days aright. You know, to count down our life. I need to say 
Savior. Why we need the Savior? Because human being is bankrupt. We are bankrupt without God. Bankrupt not in the material things. Bankrupt not in your bank account. But bankrupt in your morality. Because now, people, they just, they just enjoy life. Enjoying themselves. Enjoying the beauty of this world without being recognizing that they need God. You know, Mani Pacquiao, Mani Pacquiao is being now persecuted because of his stand in truth and righteousness. His stand of living to please God. And this kind of stand is what we needed in our generation. come back again. So if tonight you can feel the conviction of God that you need God, do not harden. Because tonight might be the last night that you will hear the word of God. And when you miss this night, there might be no other opportunity. So I'm challenging every one of us who are in this hall to let us honor God in our life. Let us honor God above all in every occasion. Let us honor God in everything that we have. Because above all, only God who has given us life. That's why we have birthday celebration. Because God is giving you the opportunity to live more. The opportunity to choose Him. The opportunity to have Him in your life as Lord and Savior. So may I request everyone to let us close our eyes. And I want to lead you in a prayer. A prayer that you yourself were going to repeat. But as you repeat after me, repeat with faith in your heart. Because I believe, as the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that He has risen from the dead, you will be saved. Because there is power in confession. There is power in the word of God. So as you repeat after me. Repeat with faith. Repeat with faith in your heart. Because I believe 
When you repeat after me in this prayer, I believe God will work in your life. Repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I recognize I am a sinner and I need a Savior. Lord Jesus, forgive me from all my sin. I believe you are God. You died on the cross. You raised from the dead to give me life. Lord Jesus, I am receiving you as my Lord and Savior. And I'm declaring that Jesus is Lord over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let me pray for all of you. Father, I thank you for all men and women who are in this hall, the friends, relatives of Kevin who have come in celebration of his birthday. May everyone, oh God, be filled with your love that everyone may know that there is God. Father, I ask and pray to lay your hands upon every human being in this room that they may receive your gift of salvation, your gift of love, and that love that has no end. Father, I entrust them to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, can we stretch forth our hand to Kevin? Thank you, Father God, for the life of this man, for this young man, Kevin. Thank you for giving his life and life more. A life that honors your name. Father, we ask to continue to use him mightily in your kingdom. That every time he will serve you in your ministry, may you find him faithful. May you find him, oh God, continually choosing you over his life. We entrust him to you as you are going to bless his coming in. Both now and forevermore. Even the Himena family. Continue, Lord, to pour out your blessing and favor to the whole family. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for tonight. The glory, honor, and thanksgiving belongs to you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you all and good evening. All right, so before we eat, Kevin, I want you to stay on the stage. Because we're going to give the birthday celebrant one really big happy birthday, all right? Everyone stand up, everyone stand up. But not like, not. everyone first say happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday, All right, now we're going to sing. Are you guys ready? Let's go.
Bijo po ito, Bijo. Bijo.
Pasensya na po kayo sa aking aawitin. Sa totoo lang po, kayo mo lang si Libra, kanina lang. But uh, the song is uh, a cowboy song. A western country. It's, it's about hockey. How many of you know the hockey game? <laughs> okay.